What's going on everybody? Coach David here. Um, I'm here to talk about the deadlift test for true athlete games. The deadlift test is going to be a full body test, uh, testing full body strength, full body power. Um, and this test, you're going to have three attempts. You will be able to warm up on the equipment before the test. It's going to be like the first or the second uh, test. So it'll be early. Uh, it'll be uh, one of the tests that's uh, up front um, in the order of all the tests. Um, let's go over rules real quick. So as far as equipment goes, you can wear a belt. You can wear a, a, a belt for your back, but no gloves, no wrist straps, um, no suits, no lifting suits. OK, so that's it for equipment. Um, let's go over rules real quick of the lift itself. So there will be a judge that will, will give you a ready command. When the judge says uh, that they're ready, that's when you can begin your lift. And when, it's a, when it is a successful lift, the judge will give you a command to let you know that you can go ahead and lower the bar back down. Um, let's talk about what is a successful lift. So a successful lift is going to be starting in a conventional stance. So no sumo stance for this. Starting in a conventional stance, which means your hands are going to be outside of the legs. Once you begin your lift, we just don't want you to use your body. So when the bar is going up, we don't want you to start hitching the bar and using your thighs to get the bar in the top position. That won't count as a successful lift. We want the bar to, once it begins going up, it has to maintain that upward momentum, that upward movement, until you reach the full extension at the top. And then the judge will let you know uh, when, you've, uh, when you've had a successful lift and you can go ahead and lower the bar. When you lower the bar, please just keep your hands loosely on the bar and just ride it back down, doing like a controlled drop without actually letting go of the bar and dropping the bar, okay? So those are the rules. Those are the equipment uh, parameters. We'll go into more details and answer a few more questions if you have them uh, on event, on, uh, event day. Um, another thing, as far as your, you have three attempts, so make sure, make sure you have in mind what you want your first attempt to be, the weight you want your first attempt to be at. On event day is not the time to ask, to start asking the judges and thinking about and trying to figure out what you want your first weight to be, what you want your first attempt to be. Go ahead and have that in mind before you get here. You know, if, if you've never deadlifted before, we're doing this event in enough time to give you a chance to, to train and to get on the bar and have an idea of, of what you know you want to go for for your last attempt or for your highest lift and you should have an idea what your what your starting lift is going to be again we want you to warm up on the equipment so that you can warm up up to your starting weight okay so that is the deadlift event you're going to have three attempts um, in a conventional stance